Good morning. The surge of troops has made an undeniable dent in, uh, in the violence there and in restoring security. And the surge of our provincial reconstruction uh, We have been very clear that we expect a um, declaration from North Korea that is complete and that is accurate. As you know, we have long been concerned about uh, highly enriched uranium um, as an alternative uh, route in, uh, in North Korea. And uh, so we expect uh, there to be a, a declaration that is complete and accurate. I also uh, want to note that there is a considerable diplomatic effort underway, not just by the United States, but by other members of the six-party talks, to make certain uh, that we can complete this second phase, uh, both with the disablement, which I should underscore is going very well, and uh, with the declaration. Um, I sincerely hope that we'll, it'll be by the end of the year, uh, but the key here is to get the process right. And uh, we're going to stay at this until we get it right. Prior to the 2005 NIE? Oh, that it had been halted? No. In fact, uh, the 2005 NIE. And on uh, Iran, I continue to say that if Iran will just do the one thing that is required of it by the Security Council resolutions that have been passed, and that is suspend its enrichment and reprocessing activities, then I'm prepared to meet my, my uh, counterpart any place and any time and anywhere. And we can talk about anything. Uh, so uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's uh, see if, if countries are prepared to take that path. But uh, the United States doesn't have permanent enemies. Uh, we're, we're too, too great a country for that. Only because there is some smart money that holds that if they were to significantly improve their base. I actually look forward to the opportunity to go to Libya. Um, I think it will be an important step. So I would simply um, not agree with the notion that this uh, decision has not benefited Libya. I think it's benefited Libya greatly. If you look at where Libya is now in terms of its interaction with the international community, in terms of its ability to receive foreign visitors, in terms of its ability to, uh, to get investment, it, it's um, day and night from where it was before it made these uh, strategic decisions. But of, of course, I'm looking for an opportunity to, uh, to extend our, um, our relationship further. Do you see the painstaking diplomacy of almost a year? The negotiating teams have now held their first meeting. We oppose any threat to use force and any unilateral move by either side to change the status quo. We have a one China policy, and we do not support independence for Taiwan. As we have stated in recent months, we think that Taiwan's referendum to apply to the United Nations under the name Taiwan is a provocative policy. It unnecessarily raises tensions in the Taiwan Strait, and it promises no real benefits for the people of Taiwan on the international stage.